India ranks 7th in the world in robotics, but as investors, we never really look beyond drones. In fact, India's robotics market is much bigger than India's drone market. Robotics is an enormous opportunity that is actually quite easy to understand. Investment opportunities in this sector are spread across three primary segments, industrial hardware, automation software, and precision components. Today, we will look at the leading stocks from each of these segments. First, we have ABB India Limited. It offers the most direct listed exposure to industrial robotics hardware in India. For example, ABB's Yumi robots are used in assembling very small, high-precision components, often found in mobile phones, consumer electronics, and medical devices. ABB India operates across four main divisions, robotics and discrete automation, motion, electrification, and process automation. Its robotics division supplies industrial robots, collaborative robots, and autonomous mobile robots, along with the necessary software. It primarily serves the automotive, electronics assembly, and food and beverages sector. The focus is on high-precision tasks like welding, painting, material handling, and assembly. For example, ABB's articulated six-axis robots are used in major Indian automobile factories. These robots perform high-speed, high-accuracy spot welding on car bodies and handle heavy components like engine blocks or car chassis. ABB's robotics and discrete automation segment has shown the highest revenue growth among ABB's divisions in recent quarters. For example, 62.7% year-on-year growth in quarter 3, 2025. The company maintains a strong overall order backlog of approximately 10,000 crores as of Q3 2025, providing high revenue visibility. However, its revenue is heavily linked to capex cycle of the automotive and heavy industrial sectors. So any investments must be timed right looking at the macroeconomic environment. For automation software, Tata Elixir is a high-growth IT consulting and design firm representing the best listed play on what can be understood as the brains of the robot. It provides design and technology services across industries, including automotive, media and communications, and healthcare. For example, Tata Elixir partners with medical device companies to develop the safety-critical embedded software for next-gen robotic surgical assistance. Basically, they design and certify the software that controls the high-precision movements of the robotic arms, manages real-time sensor feedback, and ensures the system operates safely during complex surgical procedures. Tata Elixir mainly focuses on high-value, complex, and high-margin services with net profit margins typically over 20% and a high ROC of 40%. The company operates with virtually zero debt. As the robotics market matures, software and AI differentiation will become critical. Tata Alexi designs intelligent systems that control the movement, perception, and decision-making of these robots, capturing high intellectual property value. Synergies with other Tata Group companies like Tata Motors ensures a captive market and first-hand experience in large-scale industrial automation projects. The stock trades at extremely high multiples though, pricing an aggressive future growth. It has also breached long-term support levels, so investing in the stock is a long-term gain. Shorter duration cycles will come in based on macroeconomic triggers, so as a trader, I would keep an eye open for such turnarounds as well. When we're talking about robotics, we simply cannot ignore Siemens. It basically invented the language for robots, and I'm not kidding. See, traditionally, every robotic brand like Fanuc, ABB, or Kuka had its own proprietary programming language. Siemens introduced the Sematic Robot Library, which allows engineers to program robots from multiple different brands directly within a totally integrated automation portal. It is like having a personal translator that can pick up code from different languages and translate it into one universal language that the machine can understand. The nerd in me is impressed. And Siemens does not stop there. It is also involved in software directly like the semantic robot Pick AI. This is a pre-trained, deep learning-based vision software. It allows robots to pick up unknown objects, items that they haven't seen before, with about 98% success. This is right now being used in Indian e-commerce warehouses and logistics hubs, where robots must handle thousands of different stock-keeping units that change every day. All this shows up in their massive order backlog of 42,000 crores, much of which is driven by digitalization and automation needs of the Indian private sector. Now, these were the largest players of robotics, but to play the broader component manufacturing and raw material side of robotics, we look at companies providing precision mechanical components, specialized materials, and gear assemblies. The first there is Schaeffler India. Schaeffler India is the most direct listed play on motion control and mechanical component requirements of the robotics industry. It manufactures high precision bearings, engine components, and specialized industrial motion systems. Its products are essential for any moving part in the industrial sector, including robotics. 
Robots, especially articulated industrial arms and collaborative robots, require specialized high-load, low-friction bearings in their joints to ensure precision and repeatability. Schaeffler is a key supplier for this critical component segment. The company is actively bolstering its automation capabilities domestically through acquisitions like Dhruva Automation and Controls, integrating smart automation solutions into its core offerings. Its products meet the stringent quality and precision standards required by global robot manufacturers that are operating in India. It is also known for robust financial health with consistently high return on equity and strong operating cash flows. Its growth is directly linked to the overall health and automation level of the Indian manufacturing sector though. It shows in the stock's performance as well. Even as most of the cap goods sector has suffered, Schaeffler has managed to do relatively well. It's a stock with a very real potential to become a generational wealth builder. Next, we have a strong microcap play on the gearboxes and power transmission segment, which is vital for providing torque and controlled movement in heavy duty robots. Shanti Gears manufactures a wide range of industrial gear, gearboxes and gear assemblies that are used for transmitting power and managing speed or torque in heavy machinery across multiple industries. High payload industrial robots and large material handling systems like those required in automated warehouses and ports require specialized high torque gearboxes and actuators. Shanti Gears as a quality Indian manufacturer is well positioned to serve this mechanical requirement. It is part of Tube Investments, which is the Murugappa Group, and being part of a stable conglomerate provides financial strength and governance. The stock is generally characterized by low debt and steady, albeit cyclical, profitability. It is a value play on the overall increase in industrial machinery across India. The dedicated robotics component market is still a small part of its overall industrial gearbox sales, so its performance is tied more broadly to industrial capex. The stock is also arguably overvalued right now, but if we manage to avoid a large-scale recession, Shanti Gears should manage to create a niche for itself in a very future-ready industry. Finally, we have Himadri Speciality Chemicals. This is an indirect but potentially transformative play on the new energy materials, essential for mobile and service robots. It conventionally manufactures speciality chemicals including carbon black and coal tar pitch. Its new high growth vertical is new energy materials, specifically anode materials for lithium ion batteries. All mobile robots, whether in warehouses, service robots, collaborative robots or autonomous drones, require high performance, lightweight and energy dense lithium ion batteries. Himadri's initiative to pioneer the production of lithium ion battery anode material in India makes it a key beneficiary of the entire mobile robotics evolution. The successful indigenous production of anode material reduces India's reliance on imports, primarily from China, for this critical battery component, placing Himadri in a strategic position to supply India's rapidly growing EV and mobile robotics industries. The high growth in the new energy material segment, commanding a premium valuation based on the future potential of lithium ion battery value chain. The stock is corrected, but is arguably still a bit expensive for a cyclical industry. My first entry price would be between 350 to 400 with room to average down.